YouTube, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jane with Paradox Customs, and I'm here to teach you guys how to save money on your dual PC streaming setups. Before I get started guys, I want to make it very clear that I do believe that the best way to dual PC stream is by using a capture card. If you have the budget and you want to have the best looking stream with the least amount of problems and headaches, I without a doubt recommend looking at getting yourself maybe an Elgato or a Ripsaw or something like that. However, this video is for those of you with two PCs, maybe a PC and a laptop, and you're on a budget, guys. So let's hop right into the video. All right, guys, so to make this as clear as possible, I'm gonna be showing you which PC I am on, gaming versus streaming, at all times on the top of the video. So make sure you guys are paying attention and following along. Now we're gonna kickstart things off with the gaming PC. Quick little setups to get some installations going. We're gonna go ahead and open up OBS Studios first. So if you don't have it, you're gonna to wanna to install it from obsproject.com, where you simply just press Windows, Mac, or Linux. And then we're going to go ahead and get this right here and open that up. And as this opens, we're going to go ahead and go through the installer. Now, I already have OBS, obviously, as I'm recording this video on OBS. So I'm not going to do that again. But it's a really quick installation to be really, really simple. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then after your OBS is installed, we're going to go ahead and download the new tech NDI integration into OBS Studios plugin, guys. So this is the page you're going to be sent to. Nope, that's not the page. That's really awkward. This is the page you're going to be sent to guys and what essentially is going to happen is you're going to go ahead and press go to download and then you're going to have all these options right here so what we're going to open is obs ndi 4.9.0 windows you can do the zip or you can do the installer the installer is a little bit better in my opinion it's more of an express download so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do i'm going to open this up right here and I'm going to drag this over and we're going to press next. Now, really, really important note, make sure that this box is checked. If it's not and you don't have this box for whatever reason, you can actually download the uh, NDI 4.5.1 runtime right here. And there's another one on the other page as well. So we're going to go ahead and press this, install, blah, 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 blah. And then we're going to go ahead and have this pop-up open up and we're going to accept the agreement, press next a couple times, choose the installation location, next, and we're going to install it. And all that's going to happen. It's uninstalling my previous versions because I already have this. Yada, yada, yada. We're going to press finish and we are good to go on the gaming PC for now. We're going to switch gears to the streaming PC. Alrighty guys, so we are now on the streaming PC and you're going to notice it's going to sound a little bit different in the mic and we're not going to have a face cam on this PC and that is because this PC is not as good as the other one and the mic system is set up through the other's PC so we're using a condenser mic right now, it's going to sound a little off anyways. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the same kind of installation here, we're going to go OBS Studio again, we're going to go Windows and we're going to download OBS. Now as you guys see, I have it already so I'm not going to go through this download process again, just like the other PC. But if you go ahead and open the installer and it takes about 17 years to work and I press yes, you're going to go to the installation. It's going to be the exact same as normal. Now, once OBS installed and that's all good to go, you're set up. You're going to want to close all this and you're going to go again to the OBS NDI New Tech NDI integration into OBS Studio. That is a mouthful plugin. Now, we're going to press go to download and exact same process as before. We're going to get the installer for Windows on the 4.9.0 OBS NDI gonna click that we're gonna open this up and we're gonna run through this installation and we're gonna press yes next sure this works good location again guys make sure this is checked or download it by yourself next next install all this going through all this hassle this fun stuff I accept next good to go it's replacing my old version of NDI which I already have because I do dual PC stream this way and then the setup is good to go, guys. So now we're going to switch once more back to the game PC, set up the rest of it up on there, and then we will be good to go. Alrighty, guys. So now we got all the software installed on both PCs. Now this is the fun part. We're going to go ahead and set up our OBS to the way we like it. So on our gaming PC, we're going to send everything we want to go from our gaming PC to our streaming PC. We're going to set that up on OBS now. So what I'm going to go do is you guys see I have my mic set up already working. We're going to go settings. Um, audio and then we're gonna make sure so I got my speakers so this is my headset right here my Logitech G733 that is all set up that's the audio I'm hearing with and then we have the mic the Deity USB mic that's all set up as well I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a game capture probably um, we're gonna go ahead and go game capture I already have an existing one if I open this up I had I was playing Apex last night so we'll just leave it on we'll go ahead and capture any full screen replication the screen is gonna be black obviously because I don't have anything open or anything like that right now 
But so now this is good to go. Let's say I have this OBS screen exactly the way I like it and I'm ready to send this to my steering PC. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go press tools here and I'm gonna go NDI output settings. Now this is the NDI mini window here and I'm gonna go ahead and check main output. I'm gonna name this like I have it already, Game of PC. Now this is important to note that once you do this and you check that box, you can no longer make changes to stuff like your output or stuff like this. This is locked in now so it can send it properly to your streaming PC. So I highly recommend setting up your resolutions, all your important OBS settings on your gaming PC. Set that up before you check this box. You can just uncheck it and come back and fix this. It's very simple, but just for convenience sake, Make sure you guys have this box checked when you're good to go. Like you can see, I can come back and I can go make these changes now if I want to maybe put my linear on or something like that. But once this box is checked, you kind of can't make any more changes. You can still change your scenes here. You can still add and subtract and all that, but you can't do much more besides that. So now we're going to kick it over to our streaming PC once more and I'm going to show you guys how to get this feed activated on your other OBS. Alrighty guys, we are back on the streaming PC for the final time. Now for those of you who don't know, this is the PC that we're going to actually press start streaming on. This is the PC that's going to take the bulk of the load in this system and let your gaming PC just game. So we're going to go ahead and make a new scene. Mine's going to be called NDI tutorial as you guys can see right here. And I'm going to go ahead and press add new and we're gonna add a new NDI source. Now we're gonna name this something like Gaming Rig or something like that. This does not need to correlate to the name you gave it earlier on the other PC. I'm gonna press okay here. And we're gonna open this drop down of source names. Now you are gonna see what you created on the gaming PC, ideally, if this all worked properly. I'm gonna go ahead and press this drop down. And a really, really important setting that we're gonna wanna change, I'd leave this all the same. However, latency mode, I recommend putting on low experimental. Now I know this sounds a little scary, but it really shouldn't. Essentially what this does is just make sure your mic, your gameplay, and your camera, if you're using a face cam, all line up properly and don't have sync delays. So this is just a setting that they added kind of recently and it's super cool because then you don't really need to play around with adding delays or time filters or anything like that. So it's super cool. Now when I press okay here, you guys are gonna see that my gaming PC screen, which I have, oh, look at that, VR Paradox on YouTube. We're gonna have this screen from our gaming PC pop up on our streaming PC. You're also going to see when I go ahead and press play on my gaming PC, the audio from the video is going to come on through to my streaming PC. So when I press start stream, pause that so you guys can hear me. When I press start stream now, all the audio that I have set up on my other OBS on my gaming PC gets sent in one audio source to our streaming PC. Now there's ways to filter this and have multiple audio sources. If you guys do want to see that video, or maybe a more in-depth tutorial on how to use NDI, please do let me know in the comments down below. We're gonna kick it right back to our gaming PC and finish off this video, guys. All right, guys, we are back on the gaming PC to conclude this video. Just like that, we have properly set up NDI for zero additional dollars. You guys can get your dual PC streams going. You can do this on a laptop or a second PC. They all work. I, for the longest time, was streaming off a really, really mediocre gaming rig and an Asus laptop, guys. So it definitely is possible. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do not leave without leaving a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. We've noticed a lot of you watch, but don't leave subs. If you guys are enjoying the content, please do leave a subscription, and we will see you guys in the next video.